What's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So as you guys might have known from one of my previous videos, I'm a lifeguard. This is my summer job. It's actually my first ever job and I'm really enjoying it. So I thought I would show you guys what's in my lifeguarding bag and also what's in my lifeguarding fanny pack. This is what I keep in the break room. I have access to it when I'm on my break. And this I have with me all day. So I'm going to show you guys what's in each of these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let's go ahead and get started. So I actually wanted to start off showing you guys my uniform. So I work at a water park in my town and it's been a lot of fun. I've met a lot of new friends. So I'm really enjoying it. I wanna show you guys what I'm wearing. So first I have my lifeguard tank and um, it says guard on the back. If you can see, that's what it looks like. And then I also have these blue shorts on. I really like the uniform and I also have on a visor which I find really good because not only does it kind of pull the whole look together but it also shields my face from the sun and keeps me from burning. It's really good and it just says guard on it. And obviously I have my whistle so this is just a blue whistle. It's obviously very necessary to have this as a lifeguard. It's also recommended for me to wear a watch just to know the time and keep an eye on it and it's also kind of makes the day go by faster when you know when you're going to be able to leave. Um, so I have an Apple watch, luckily they are waterproof so that's super good. I'm actually going to show you guys what I have to do throughout the day. There's actually a way you can release the water from the watch if it gets in the speakers or every time you go in the water this is what I do. So what I do is I just flip up the screen and I go down to this little water droplet looking thing and then I turn the dial and all the water is out. And it's also part of my uniform to have polarized sunglasses so that's why I have to keep these on me at all times. So that basically wraps up what I wear as my uniform. And for what I wear on my feet I have to have something comfortable and supportive. On average a day I do about either 15,000 to 20,000 steps. It's insane. I'm walking or standing all day so I can't be in anything uncomfortable. If I'm not wearing these I'm barefoot so I have these Crocs and I also have these Adidas sandals. They've both been super great and I love wearing both of them. Sometimes I wear the Crocs, sometimes I wear the sandals but I don't want to just wear one because I don't want to get weird tan lines. So these are both super great and I have been loving those. Now that I've kind of gotten through my uniform, I'm going to start with what I keep in my break room bag. So if I'm being completely realistic and honest, usually on a normal day of work, I will just bring in a drawstring bag. It's a lot easier, lighter, but for this video, I did want to show it in more of a bag like this because there's more zipper pockets and it's not as unorganized, whereas when I keep it in this bag, everything is kind of just shoved in there with no particular organization. So. Yeah, I actually did use this about the first week or so when I was working, but I did find the drawstring bag to be a little more practical. So that's why I use that now, but I still do love this bag, and it would be great if I didn't have the drawstring bag. <sighs> so let's get started. I guess I'll start right here with the first zipper pocket. In here, the first thing I have is this key with the lock. I actually bought this before I went in because I knew there was going to be lockers in the break room. Believe it or not, I actually haven't used this. It's just a lot of hassle to take the time to unlock it when I could just open my locker. And those are like vital minutes of my 20 minutes that I have for break. So I just opted to not do it. Nobody ever locks up their stuff. So for obvious reasons, I also have my employee pass. So moving on to this pocket on the side. It's probably one of the most important pockets of the bag. That is because in here I keep all of my sunscreen. I tried to go for the highest SPF, so this is SPF 100. And I also have a face sunscreen, which is a face mist. Also, I have a sunscreen stick. I use this if I'm in the break room and I don't feel like spraying sunscreen and getting it everywhere and kind of annoying people with it because it's gonna smell up the whole break room if I just start spraying myself with sunscreen. So sometimes if there's a lot of people in there, I'll just opt for the stick and just put it everywhere. Also, I have a skin condition called eczema where my skin gets super dry and irritated. So I know this isn't the best job for that problem, but 
it is what it is. So I actually bought this Aquaphor ointment spray. It's one of the best purchases I've ever made. I got it from Target. It just, I spray it on and it cools the skin, it moisturizes the skin, and I put it on right before I do my sunscreen. And it works really well, so I really recommend this to anybody who has dry skin. Next up in here I have two deodorants. Believe it or not, you sweat in the sun, super hot in Texas especially. So I have these for obvious reasons. I have a men's one and a woman's one. I guess I usually opt for the men's because it works a little better, but those are very necessary to have. And last up in this pocket, you know, it's corona time. Hand sanitizer is very important. I reach for this as much as I can because you gotta keep your hands clean, so I have this in there. That about wraps it up for this pocket. And now I'm gonna flip over to the other side pocket and show you what's in there. In this pocket, I keep my phone. I'm on my phone on my break just to kind of de-stress, relax, text my mom, tell her what's going on, and just catch up with everything. It's important to have your phone, obviously. Also, very essential to have your car keys to get to and from work. So I just keep these two things in that one pocket. Super easy access when I need them. And now I'll go ahead and move on into the big pocket. I keep a packed lunch in here. I just have a little bit of something each break I get. So usually it's along the lines of like chips, a fruit cup, um, applesauce, anything that kind of we have in the house. I also usually pack some cookies in here. My mom makes me a sandwich. Um, yeah, and also in here as you can see I kind of like to have a soda of some sort. I have water when I'm on stand, but when I get to the break room I feel the need to have something a little more sugary to kind of keep me going and keep me energized throughout the day. So that's kind of what I have for lunch. And the last thing I have in here is a towel. I actually don't have a towel with me every day. I mostly bring a towel when there's a chance of there being a rain check, so when I get back to my car I'm not soaking wet, or if I want to swim after work, anything like that. If there's an employee party, I bring a towel, but this isn't like an essential that I bring to work every day. So that is what's in my break room bag, and now I'm going to move on to what's in my fanny pack. So this is my fanny pack that I was given at work and as you can see the most obvious thing right here is my water bottle this is literally the best water bottle ever I don't even know where I got it I didn't know it was going to be this amazing when I bought it but it is so good originally when I knew I was going into work I went and bought this water bottle from Academy thought it was going to be really good it says it's insulated it has a mister on it which I actually really enjoyed at work. However, it doesn't keep my water cold throughout the day as much as I thought it was. It claims to be insulated, but it didn't really work for me. I used it probably the first week or so of work until I realized that I just wanted to use this one that I already had. Yeah, I just don't drink water if it's not freezing cold with ice in it. So I had to let this go and I went back to my trusty old water bottle. So I don't know if you can hear inside, but a few hours ago, like, Probably like six hours ago, I filled this up when I was going to work, and the ice is still in it. And this will literally stay, the ice will stay in there for like 24 hours. It's insane. I love this so much, and it's amazing. I don't know how the ice stays in there, but it does. It's insane. I love it so much. So next up, kind of peeking out, you can see in this one pocket, I have my Big Easy. This is a non-rebreather mask. I haven't really used this yet, there hasn't been any emergencies thankfully, but I do use these in my training that we have every day before work, and yeah, we just have to have it on us, so that is what's in that first pocket. It kind of takes up all the room in that pocket, and if there was a situation, it's good to just have it on hand really easily to get to. And then I have my pocket right here, which is where I keep all of my necessities. So I guess I'll start out with my sunscreen stick. I can't really fit a full bottle of sunscreen in this fanny pack, but I do like to have something that I can put on my face, and if I needed to, I can put it on my arms and my neck if I feel like I'm burning. I get a break every two hours, and that's when I apply sunscreen, but sometimes I feel like I need to put sunscreen on even in between those two hours while I'm on stand, so that's why I have that in there. I also found when I hold my whistle in my mouth for a long period of time, my lips get super dry and super cracked. So that is when I went out and bought a lip balm. 
This is a Sun Bum lip balm. It actually has SPF 30 in it. And it's banana scented, which is the best thing I've ever seen. So I love it. It actually tastes really good <laughs> if it gets in your mouth. I love this lip balm. Definitely would repurchase this. This is also very random, but I have a Vicks nasal stick in here. This is like if an occasion I was like lightheaded or I felt the need to like clear my sinuses. I have this on hand. It honestly makes me feel better no matter what I'm struggling with. If I have a headache, anything, stomach ache. This just like instantly makes me feel a little bit better. So I always carry these with me wherever I go. Along with not feeling so well, I like to carry some Tylenol with me or Advil or any sort of painkiller. I get headaches super easily, especially out in the Texas sun. So I find it very essential to keep these with me, along with fellow lifeguards that sometimes ask me for painkillers, so that is a must-have. A lot of guests will come up to me and ask me if I have band-aids, so these are super important to have, and also Neosporin if anybody had like a cut or anything and needed it. Um, or for myself, if I was like running and fell over, I guess, so that is important. The last thing I have in this front pocket is actually some Crystal Light water flavoring. This is also if I'm like on stand and I don't want water anymore. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I just like to have flavored water. So this is super good. It's just lemonade flavored. And that is everything in this front pocket. In this back pocket right here, I don't really keep anything. The one thing I do have is my rotation card. So I work at a water park, which is super fun. But when I was first working there, I was so confused about the rotations, I didn't know like where to go. So this kind of tells me the order of the rotations. So for example, I could be starting at a wave pool, and then when I get rotated out, I move to the kids area, stuff like that. So I used to have to use this, now I kind of have it memorized, but this was super handy to have. So that is everything that I keep inside of my fanny pack, but I do have things that I kind of hook on around my waist that I wanted to show you. I find it super helpful to have goggles on me at all times. There are so many occasions where people come off of a slide and even though we told them to take their sunglasses, hats, watches off, they'll fall off and get to the bottom of the pool and they have to ask us to go in and get them for them. So instead of having to call over my supervisor and ask him to go get me goggles, I find it a lot easier and less hassle to just have them on me and be able to do it just right then and there. So. I keep those on me and I also carry my handy dandy coronavirus mask. It's actually mandatory now that we wear these in the break room and anywhere that we're not able to socially distance. So this is what I have to carry around with me. So yeah, that's everything that I kind of have as a lifeguard. I really enjoyed making this video and kind of going through with you guys everything that I carry and the purposes for everything. If you guys want to see like a day in the life video or life as a lifeguard or a QA and a or anything about lifeguarding, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do any sort of videos like that. I find them really fun and I love watching them. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out and I'd super appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone! Oh my god, we go trash. And I thought it would kind of be sh Crocs or Adidas. Usually off for the men's because it works better. I haven't been in that. All of my team. And sometimes, if I just happen to like, oh, I find it so important, important, essential. I keep saying this word. I also have to have my coronavirus. It is now nece essential, necessary, essential, vital, mandatory. Yeah, and I also no also way you can let the water out of your watch. Bye. Brilliant. <laughs>